we need to talk a little bit about special products of polynomials. There are basically two kinds of multiplication problems with binomials in particular that are called special products in many math books. The first one happens when we have binomials that we're going to square or multiply by themselves. And the other one happens when we get a product of a sum and a difference. That means in the binomial there might be, in one of the binomials there will be an addition sign and in the other one a subtraction sign. So we're going to just start today then by taking a look at squaring a sum. If I happen to have a binomial such as x plus 8, this is a sum and if I square it, basically that definition means that you take the binomial and multiply it by itself. One way we could work on this problem is to use the box method which is an application of distributive property and we would take this binomial and multiply x times x, 8 times x, 8 times x again, and 8 times 8 so that we would get x squared plus, let's see here, 8x plus 8x happens to be 16x plus 64. And this is the product that we get after doing the squaring. What we may or may not know is there is a special formula to help us do this very quickly. And it's in the form a plus b quantity squared is always equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b to the second. I'm going to show you how to do this problem that we just did without the distributive property simply following that particular formula. So if I were going to do that, I could start over with x plus 8 squared. And what I would really need to know is something really important like a. What is a? a in this case will be x and b in this case is going to be 8. So when I follow the formula, a squared plus 2 times a times b plus b squared, then what I would get is x squared plus 2 times a times b plus b or 8 squared. And now I just simplify. So what I get finally for my final answer is x squared plus 16x plus 64. Now eventually I would hope that my students can skip a lot of the work that I did here and go directly from one step to the next. But you have to trust the formula and also use the formula properly to get that right. Now we can also square a binomial that happens to be a difference such as 3x minus 4 quantity squared also known as 3x minus 4 times 3x minus 4. Using our trusty box and the distributive property, I can certainly do this in this manner. 9x squared is the result of 3x times 3x. This would be negative 12x, negative 12x, and positive 16. Now what I hope you're starting to see as a pattern is that when you're squaring these binomials, you do seem to get duplicity of monomials, especially the x to the first term. I get two of them. And that's how I know that this particular formula will work. If I have a minus b quantity squared, my shortcut is a squared. When I'm doing a difference, I need to put a subtraction symbol here, 2 times a times b plus b to the second. So let's just see now how this would be done if I use the formula instead of using the distributive property. So I'll start all over with 3x minus 4 quantity squared. And what I'm going to say is that I know in this case that a is the monomial 3x, so that a squared will be 9x to the second. I also know that b is equal to 4, so that b squared will be 16. 
Now when I start to think about what is 2 times a times b, that will be 2 times 3x times 4, which is actually 24x. So let's get back to the problem. Here's what we'll do. We're going to do a squared first, which is 9x squared. I got that right there. I have to put a minus sign since I have a difference instead of a sum. And then I put 2ab, which is 24x, and then I'm going to be finding b squared. So this is the product, which is the result of squaring the binomial 3x minus 4. There's one more type of special product, and the, this special product is when you're actually multiplying a sum, such as x plus 2y, times a difference where a and b are the same. If we use a box, I'm going to give myself a little extra room for some bigger terms here, and I set up the difference here and perhaps I set up the sum here, I'm going to get x squared minus 2xy plus 2xy minus 4y to the second. So my final result here will be, hmm, what will it be? Let's see, x squared, I took care of that. And it's very interesting to find out that in this case, 2xy minus xy are additive inverses, and so they're simply equal to 0. And so the thing that I now have left is simply minus 4y to the second, which actually, this brings me to the formula that I'd like to present. The formula I'd like to present for a sum times a difference when a and b are the same is simply equal to the first monomial and then subtract, that would be the first monomial squared, subtract the second monomial squared. So I'm going to go back now and work on that exact same problem I just did on the previous screen. And I can see that a is equal to x, so a squared is x squared. b is equal to 2y, so b squared would it be equal to 2y to the second. That's a power of a power. So now let me just find a nicer color. I can see that all I have to do is find a squared and subtract 2y squared, which is 4y to the second. And that's the same product we got when we use the distributive property.